Hey everyone, it's been a pretty long time since my last video, so I figured I'd just kind of make a quick one here. <clears throat> I'm going to be assembling this uh, high current DC motor driver that I uh, built. This is a uh, the same board, but this one I kind of destroyed on accident. Um, so in order to do this, um, instead of just putting solder paste on all the pads like I usually do by hand, what I did was I bought a stencil for it <clears throat> right here. Um, so I bought this from a company called O'Hara RP. Um, they make uh, several different things. One of them is uh, you can order prototype stencils for $25 plus shipping. So this was uh, fairly cheap. Um, and I guess I'll make a little video on how to use one of these stencils. So, here we go. Okay, the first thing you're going to want for this is a couple uh, either scrap circuit boards or just any kind of circuit boards that you don't need. Um, I happen to have a whole container of circuit boards, extra circuit boards. Um, and the reason you're going to want these is to hold your uh, main board in place while you stencil it. So I'm just going to grab a couple here. Now if you don't have any extra circuit boards, you can probably just find a couple pieces of wood or something that's the same thickness as one of your circuit boards. I'm just going to grab, let's grab four here. Just regular uh, masking tape will work fine for this. We'll put our stencil off to the side. And we're going to tape our boards down. Um, you want to do this on a flat surface for somewhat obvious reasons. You don't want your board uh, wiggling around as you're putting the paste on. Okay, that's held in there nice and firmly now. And you can still take it out so we can put our parts on afterward. Uh, you probably want to try to avoid touching the pads just to keep oil off of them. Might not matter a whole lot, but it, 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 do, it doesn't hurt to keep it clean. So now, this is probably the most important part, is, and that's going to be taping our, taping our stencil down. And this, this is the, uh, probably the hardest part, too, because you have to make sure all your pads are aligned. And I have some very tiny ones on here, so you want to make sure your stencil is pulled uh, nice and firm. You don't want to like stretch it or anything, but if you're getting one made out of Kapton from O'Hara RP, then you usually don't really need to worry about it because Kapton is pretty pretty strong. And there we go, our stencil is taped down. Now you're going to want some kind of uh, plastic, pref preferably a uh, card to, excuse me, to spread your solder paste. And then you're going to need your solder paste. This you can buy from DigiKey, you can probably buy it from Mauser and um, other places like that. I normally use uh, lead-free paste, but this leaded paste was a little bit cheaper, so I just got that instead. Um, before you use it, um, well, you're supposed to store it refrigerated or chilled so that before you use it, you want to take it out a couple hours before you're going to do your uh, stenciling to let it warm up to room temperature. And it's, it's pretty self-explanatory from here. You can probably figure it out. You just smear like a bead across here and then you're going to wipe it across your board with your uh, spreader. Okay, so here we go. We've put some solder paste down. Um, I might need more than that, actually. Actually, I probably will need more than that because I have some very large pads here that need to be covered. Uh, so here we go.
And you do want to pull your card at a pretty shallow angle. Um, it looks like we're going to have plenty on our pads here. I am going to add just some more manually to these really large ones because they're very large and the solder paste doesn't really want to go to those. So just dab a little bit. On. Oh, that was probably way too much. Actually, it shouldn't matter for those because those have holes in them. So it'll wick through anyway. Okay, so you want to cap your solder paste back up. Put it back. And put it back in wherever you store it. Because you want to store it cold, so either a fridge or something like that. So now, <clears throat> take our stencil off. Um, probably take tape off the sides here first. And this is much, much faster than putting your solder paste on your pads uh, individually. It's well worth the extra little bit of money it would cost to do this. Now you're just going to carefully peel your stencil off so you don't smear anything. And you want to set it aside. You will need to clean it, obviously. Just use some uh, isopropyl alcohol and it should take the solder paste right off. Um, I'm just going to hang it up out of the way for now. Grab our board. Make sure everything's good. Camera focus. You can see we've got solder paste on here pretty well. We do have quite a bit of extra on many of the pads, but it should still be fine. So now I'm going to put my parts on and I'll reflow it. Okay, you can see I've got all the parts put on here now. Now I need to uh, heat it up and reflow it. 